Moving on to impressions. So impressions impressions are simply how many times your ad was viewed uh, on a page. Uh, now, the thing that Amazon doesn't say, which actually Google does say, which I really like, Google will, will actually tell you, uh, like, so let's say you are running on Google Display Network and you serve an ad on, you know, some website, um, and then your ad is actually in the middle of the page. So if somebody's on mobile, they actually didn't see it because they didn't scroll all the way down. Um, so Google actually has something called like active views, meaning the person actually saw it, like it was an active impression, meaning it didn't just load on the bottom of the page and then you never got to the bottom of the page. Um, whereas on Amazon, they don't actually delineate uh, that, which I don't feel great about. I hope they do. So basically when you make a search on Amazon, you see, you know, your sponsored brands up top, you see a row of sponsored products up top. But what about the people in the sponsored products in the middle of the page or the bottom of the page? Did they just trigger a, did they just trigger an impression if someone didn't scroll all the way down? This is a question that I have. Uh, if anyone has found this, I have, I've been looking, I haven't been able to see this, but um, I'd love to know how Amazon delineates sort of passive impressions where the person didn't actually even get to that part in the page versus active impressions where they actually saw it and decided to click or not. Yeah, it's the thing with impressions as well is... Um your ad can be displayed on the page somewhere, but that doesn't necessarily mean that a customer saw your ad. Oh, yeah, like if you were tracking their eyes right, or something. Right, if it's in their peripheral vision. <laughs> right. So it'll be interesting to see what kind of tech comes out in the future uh, that improves our reporting for impressions. Right. And, uh, you know, being able to understand, you know, maybe if there's some sort of uh, computer <laughs> camera in the future that can track your eyes and right. see where you're looking on the page. Uh, have you ever read uh, Homo Deus by uh, he, the guy who wrote Sapiens? Mm -mm. Uh, in it, he talks about the future where when you're watching, like the net, you know, how, like Netflix has an algorithm which mm -hmm. suggests things to watch based off your previous watched things. Yep. They say <laughs> this book talks about a future where, like, your TV is able to sense like the parts of shows that you'd like the most and like Netflix is able to like serve you not even just content in a similar genre but content that will also have the same emotional spike in you and like if you, <laughs> if you have a wearable and it's tracking your like bl blood uh, tracking like your blood pressure or your pulse during a certain scary movie it'll like ever like that'll be data that movie studios have um, so will we ever know if someone actually saw and like looked at the <laughs> image of our ads and then decided to click or not uh, uh, maybe. <laughs> it's it's maybe. possible. Right? Um, so yeah, so the average impressions per day is about 56,000. So that's over the course of a month. That's going to be, uh, I'm calculating this really quick, that's going to be about 1.7 million impressions a month. Um, 